Hello from Costa Rica. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been two weeks that you haven't heard from me um, on this platform. <laughs> and now I'm back and there's huge announcements to make. There's a lot to say about uh, the energy updates. And a little reminder, the year we are in is the year of the electric seed, right? The seed being um, the energy where we can put our intentions and our visions and our what we want to manifest, basically. Um, the seed is uh, the thing that holds all the potential and that is needed in order for anything <laughs> to, to manifest and to grow and uh, to come into existence. And the third tone, the electric tone, is a tone of service, right? So the question still being, how can we be of service um, finding this path? And uh, yeah, it just got a lot more magical. But before we get into the energies of this new cycle that is starting today, I just wanted to let you know that the last cycle that we just came out of yesterday was the cycle of the dragon. And the dragon is all about nurturing, birthing, and being, right? So it's a lot about self-care, and if you can, also care for others. But it is a very passive energy in a sense that, that you're not doing so much and that you're more like, you know, caring for your loved ones or for yourself. And in alignment with that, on the first day of the dragon, I got sick, you know, so of course I look at this a little bit differently, like I don't think that I'm sick, I think that something wanted me to rest in order to receive energetic updates that I can integrate more easily and at the same time also like cleansing, you know, like I, I had the symptoms of a cold and uh, yeah, I was basically cleansing a lot of things and at the same time receiving a lot of upgrades you could say like it's really hard to put those things into words because they are pretty much beyond this mm, dimension right and our words our language so far has been mainly to navigate in this dimension <laughs> so it's really hard to find words for what uh, I've been experiencing but basically you could say it was a time of huge upgrade, right? And it was in perfect alignment. So the first day uh, I got sick and then the last day, so now I'm out of the cycle and I'm, I'm better than ever, you know? So it's, it was in perfect alignment and I could learn a lot about taking care of myself, you know, because I, yeah, was maybe working a little bit too much before, a little bit too excited with the academy and everything. So <laughs> it was just showing me the balance, you know? and this is where we can now make the transition into the new cycle that is starting today which is the wizard and as you can imagine the wizard is about magic and one of the messages that i've received in in my time where i was sick was that the age of magic is has returned to the planet <laughs> and now today starts the wizard so the next 13 days we can experience and create magic. The wizard is about enchantment and it's about timelessness and it's a very shamanic energy. So expect to experience and create a lot of magic. Let's say that is the potential that we have if we are willing to open uh, to see the magic, right? Um, course if we only look at our social media news feed or at the news and all the chaos happening it's hard to see the magic there although it is within everything but if you open and find the time you know like to connect and see beyond that and tune into the energies that are like around you right now it's incredible is very very magical and everything is communicating everything is speaking there is this 
sense of awakening, you know, like a huge awakening, a huge shift and, and energies keep coming in uh, to the planet from all corners of the universe, you could say, right? There's extraterrestrial beings that are supporting with their light and their love and their energies. Um, there's plasma beams from the central sun and all kinds of things. So we are constantly bombarded and, and this comes in waves and this all wants to upgrade our consciousness because this is where everything is at. Consciousness is the key um, and everything we see outside of ourselves is an expression of our consciousness. And <laughs> right now, whatever you are vibrating at, like whatever you, whatever state of being you're in, you can experience chaos and confusion or magic and, and bliss and, and abundance. And yeah, just so many beautiful things, you know, like I talk to so many people that experience the same thing, like new abilities um, being developed, you know, like greater sense of perception, um, expansion of awareness you know, all those kind of things and feeling more connected than ever, like interconnected as humans, but then also with the planet, with the earth, you know, like nature's communicating with us so strongly. And uh, yeah, it's kind of like a celebration, you know, because all that we see right now, all the dark stuff, all the heaviness, all, all the, the chaos and confusion, you know, like those are energies that are leaving the planet but they need to be seen and they need to be acknowledged and then they need to be let go of. And, you know, you could say like, yeah, why, why is it so chaotic now? It has always been super dark here on this planet. We have not just been aware yet because the light was so low that we could not see it and those forces could operate mm, without being you know, seen or whatever, or like without awareness around that on a mass level. But now because the light is so strong, because the love is so strong, all that comes to the surface. It has always been there, but now it's just like culminating and because it is time to let go of that. It is time um, for something new, you know, but in order for the new to come, the old has to go. And for many people, it seems to be very challenging uh, to let go and um, but it's inevitable and the sooner we are okay with letting go of everything that we thought uh, is real or, or what we need in order to, to live um, the easier it gets and, and the more quick you can like manifest something that is more in alignment with the new energies you know and the thing is it's completely different it's like so radically different from from what, what we used to believe you know like the three-dimensional consciousness is, is very limited it's very linear it's very dense and the main motivation is fear basically uh, fear of survival and it's a very strong feeling of disconnection and separation and everything we see in the current society so far has been built upon those foundations and they perpetuate those qualities, right? And this is what you see uh, right now. And also you can feel that it's not working anymore. It is energetically not supported. It was needed for the evolution of our consciousness, you could say. We always go through phases and that was <laughs> the lowest phase, but now we are ready finally to go up. and and make such a quantum leap that is so radically different that it's really hard for the mind to believe that it can be so magical and that it can be so easy. Basically, it is contrasting everything that we've been taught to believe, right? So if you cannot see this yet, I can assure you from my own experience, I see that every day with every people that I meet. There's so much beauty happening right now on the planet. There's so much amazing people awakening right now, stepping into their position as leaders, stepping into their power, 
um, to wanting to be of service to the community, wanting to be of service to the planet. And it's just so magical um, how when we all come together, what we can create, right? So I can assure you, you know, like if I would be the news, I could broadcast you great news because it is happening and it is inevitable. And besides what you see on the media, which of course is an agenda to make you feel stuck and in a low vibration and make you feel afraid, if you tune out of that and tune into your heart and open yourself to see what is also happening, what is not being televised and what is not being shown in the news, like this huge awakening, maybe you can feel it within yourself and maybe you cannot really explain it and it is not really explainable because we have not experienced that before um, in this lifetime. Um, but basically, it's a huge paradigm shift. And we are going to realize, like in the third dimensional consciousness, we have been slaves to energy. We've been working for energy, like money and shit. But now, the new consciousness, the magic paradigm says, let the energy work for you, right? So we come to the realization that actually, we are creative beings, and our consciousness is directing and orchestrating energy and we are broadcasting our reality, we are creating our reality and everything that we need exists within us. You know, the energy makes the reality and if we allow, and this is the tricky part because we've been so hard conditioned to work like crazy, no pain, no gain, hustling, all that shit that you can still see on the planet. And even me, I have a hard time like convincing my mind that now the struggle is over, you know. But the more I allow my energies to serve me and the more I trust into synchronicity and divine timing, you know, those are the magic things actually. Like you think like, yeah, how does magic look like in, in this new paradigm, right? It's not like that I have a wand and I flip it around and then I make like a bunch of money to appear or something. It's not like about that, but the magic is that there's a higher intelligence. Um, there's like synchronicities happening, you know, like meeting people in the right time, thinking about something, they show up and just feeling like supported, you know, like if you are in alignment, if you find alignment with your passion and your excitement, you will find support. And this is where the magic starts, you know, like, and it's effortless. And um, the challenge for me is like to let go of the mind because the mind wants to strategize and the mind wants to tell you how to do this. But the mind is not ready for that. It doesn't have um, the training yet because the mind has been conditioned to work in an environment that was very dense and based on fear and lies and, and, and limitation. So. Don't listen to your mind so much at the moment because the mind has no idea what's going on and the mind cannot uh, tell you <laughs> what to do. But thank God there is an inner voice, there's your intuition, there's your inner guidance uh, that you can connect with and that can lead you to uh, make decisions and to show you the way one step at a time. You know, like we're all stepping in this great unknown but this unknown is filled with infinite potential and that's the beauty. Everything has been super stuck until this point and very rigid and now it's breaking apart and this makes space for basically anything, you know, like if you imagine right now the most amazing expression of, you know, society or like your life, you know, like the most amazing thing you can imagine, like how, how you would like to live if if you wouldn't have to work for money and all like and and if you can imagine anything what you what you would like to do all that stuff what you imagine right now and this is not even close to what is possible because we are still operating on this limited mind perspective right so the mind is still like very limited but that's the starting point you know for you um, to imagine and it's important it's really important like if you get stuck in the game, in the old game, of course, like those old energies want to draw you in and it's very tempting, you know, and we are so used to pain, we are so used to suffering, we are so used to sacrificing ourselves because that is how it always has been. So it's really 
hard before if you haven't had experienced it before like to think that something else like that you can actually relax and that you can actually have a very easy life and, and that everything can happen like magically you know so don't get caught up in those games and and be really aware of what you focus on and also see beyond what you see the things are not as they seem you know the things are not the way they are portrayed right now there is a lot going on behind the scenes even energetically and um it, it will serve you a lot better if you focus on if you look forward if you focus on what you want to create if you focus on uh the new and just let the old die you know because it's inevitable anyway and it will in, like intensify the polarity will get even stronger it has to until we get to this flip and then we get into this non-duality or, or singularity or whatever but what you can do right now already you can choose right remember you have the choice to be not affected by what you see and i don't mean to not be compassionate you know but for me compassion also means being humble enough to say that you don't know what each soul has signed up for like we're all on our individual journey and you know like because you think something should be a certain way doesn't mean that a person or like a soul needs to have a certain experience in order to grow and and maybe they chose a different path so compassion means trusting in everybody's ability that they go through what they need to go through in order where they need to get and you focus on your personal growth you focus on your healing and and that's all you need to do and you know when you find peace within yourself in the midst of the storm in the midst of the chaos if you have peace within then the outside needs to reflect that and so i think that all like activism and all the fights that are going on are kind of will burn you out <laughs> because they will not lead you to the de uh, desired outcome but if you manage you know through breath work and meditation and being in nature and really being present and really being in your own energy and being in your own essence and connecting with your light inside and radiating that you know if you manage that then you have a lot more impact on on the world uh, it seems counterintuitive right it seems rather passive but that's also part of the new paradigm we're shifting from doing into being or like from being so focused on the physical now we're integrating the non-physical we create from a space of an awareness of our energy and we have to do a lot less right because we are connecting again to a collective intelligence we're becoming a global community and we are sourcing energy from source itself right so this is a very sustainable way of creating and um, so yeah I invite you to focus either on finding peace within you can choose to not be affected you can see the bigger picture you can focus on what is exciting you, you can find your way of service uh, and then actually have a fulfilled life while um, being of service and being of service doesn't mean that you have to do whatever like social work or any causes n none of it being of service means being yourself as good as possible you know like finding your authentic expression finding your passion finding your excitement and then acting on that and that can be whatever it doesn't even need to be like a business or a career it's just it's about all about the vibration these days you know like if you manage to be either in a peaceful vibration or in a vibration of excitement in a higher frequency then you're serving in the best way possible and then the shift can be a lot smoother and a lot quicker you know even though we're just at the beginning of the unraveling we're just at the beginning of the exposure and disclosure there's a lot of crazy magical stuff that we're going to see but there's also a lot of disgusting stuff that we're going to see that has been happening in the dark so we need to be aware of that and prepared but with the consciousness that this is leaving the planet that we are healing this and that this is going so whatever you see where you feel like oh 
that's what I not prefer. You know, be aware that this is going, this is the past, and at the same time, the new is available right now. The higher frequencies are available right now. The fifth dimension, the here and now presence, consciousness is available right now, and, and you can create from that space if you choose to. And with that being said, I wish you a beautiful cycle in the wizard, the magician, the shaman, the timelessness. Maybe that's the last thing, last thing that I want to talk about, talking about timelessness, right? So what we also might experience uh, is that your experience of time is changing. How you perceive time going by, you might feel speeding, things are speeding up. And this has to do with the expansion of our consciousness. The more we expand our awareness, the closer we get to the here and now experience, which at some point results in there is no time, there's only now. You could more see it like a dream state, like we are developing, growing into that, like coming out of linear time. So things are starting to get less linear, they start to get more multidimensional. And you will experience yourself a lot less restricted and also time will become a lot more flexible and malleable so don't think you're going crazy or like you're like stoned or like tripping or something it feels like you're tripping because in comparison to the linear experience it's kind of funky but it's totally normal it's totally a process that you can embrace and relax into it's just an invitation to trust that everything that you need is contained within this moment because in reality there's only this moment and this moment has infinite potential of everything and you can experience anything within this moment but yeah it's a process and, and we're all on an individual journey but just wanted to mention that, that the time experience can be yeah rather trippy these days um, but it's all good it's all part of the process and with that being said I send you a lot of love and I play a little bit flute uh, wish you a beautiful journey